That little red-haired girl wants you to come over and eat lunch with her. April Fool! Why don't I go over and talk to that little red-haired girl? I can't. I just can't. I hate myself for not having enough nerve to talk to her. Well, that isn't exactly true. I hate myself for a lot of other reasons, too. And she'll be here this afternoon. Oh, no. I'm always glad to see her, but... Oh, no. Today? Good grief. I'm doomed. My blanket-hating grandma is coming to visit us today. She'll want to take away my blanket. She's against kids carrying blankets. She knows all my tricks. She knows all my hiding places. I can't keep fooling her forever. I can't keep... I've got it! What did you do? I mailed it out in a self-addressed envelope. It won't come back until she's gone. This is it, Charlie Brown. Last half of the night. Bases loaded, two out. And I'm up. Oh boy, I'm going to murder that ball. I've never felt so confident. Look over there. That little redhead girl is watching you. Maybe I shouldn't have told him. She's here. That little red-haired girl is watching the game. And she's going to see me make a fool out of myself in the last inning. I've got to show her. I've got to get a hit and win the game. I've got to. I've got to. Good grief. Why did she have to show up just when I'm on the spot? Well, I'll just have to show her how good I am. I'll just have to clobber one right over the old... Two strikes. That's okay. It only takes one to hit it. And I'm going to hit it too because that little red-haired girl is watching me. And I'm going to be a hero. Did she call me? I thought I heard her call my name. Dear Pencil Pal, well, I made a fool out of myself again. I struck out with the bases loaded and lost the ball game. A little red-haired girl, whom I admire very much, was watching me. Could you tell me how to get to where you live? I'm thinking of leaving the country. My blanket. 